Hey there everyone, this is Cloud Chief, and in today's video I wanted to go over clearing Glacier. The zone line to enter Dynamis Glacier is right by uh, Rangna Mount Pass. Now there are a ton of things that you can end up doing in Glacier and I want this video to focus on just getting the time extensions and then what you need to do to go about clearing the zone. So once you start just go ahead and head straight forward and then you should come to an opening here which will be a path heading north. Go ahead and head north on this and then when you get to the top of the path you're going to want to go to the right. From there you just go to the right from the top of the ramp and just continue going down that until you come to another ramp and then you're going to want to go up this one. Basically it's going to be like you're heading towards Zarkabard. Once you've gone up the second ramp, which is not far off from the path to Zarkabard, you basically want to hang a left and make a U-turn, and then you'll basically be going along the path that's right here along this cliff. And just continue following this along, basically hugging the wall, and then you'll end up finding another ramp that you're going to go up. Once you get to the top of this ramp, hang a right, and you're gonna go all the way over into the corner and you'll find an eye. This eye is the actual time extension. Now this eye can move around a little bit up top this cliff so as long as you wide scan you should be able to find him. Once you've gotten the ITE we're gonna backtrack all the way back to the first ramp we went up. And right in the area where the first ramp was, you should find the Goblin Statue TE. You could, in theory, take this first, but since we're going to continue on from here, I just pick this TE up on the way back. Once you've gotten the Goblin and the Eye time extension, from where the Goblin was, just go to the east, and then go around, and then you'll see another ramp that heads down. Go ahead and head down the ramp. And then from there, you're going to want to go ahead and then hang a right. Keep going, and you should be in the area of close to where you'll find the Avatar Idol, which is the Yagudo time extension, and you can go ahead and take him out. Once that is taken out, go ahead and head down the ramp. From the bottom of the ramp, just continue heading east until you get up to the cliff. You should find the Adam and King image, which is the turtle time extension. Go ahead and take that out and you will have four out of the five time extensions out of the way. From the turtle T, go ahead and head north like you're going to go to Feiyin. Once you get to the lake, that is where the orc time extension and the last time extension is. Go ahead and take that out and then you're done with all the time extensions. Since we got all the time extensions, the next goal to trying to clear the zone is to get a pop item for the Mega Boss. This should drop off of any time spawn or lotto spawn NMs in the zone, and they should be all over the place. There's so many of them that I would just highly recommend you wide scan until you find one and then go ahead and kill it. If you're not finding any, just go ahead and kill some random uh, beastman mobs and one should spawn shortly. Once you've gotten the pop item off of an NM, go ahead and head to pretty much the zone line of Feiyin, and that is where you will find the spot to spawn the Mega Boss. There are some tricks to this Mega Boss, and I'm going to go over them. First off, the Mega Boss can teleport around the area, so after you pop him, it's a good idea to go ahead and wide scan him, that way you can easily track where he is so that way you can get to him quickly to try and kill him. He does spawn with a bunch of dragons. You can either choose to ignore them or you can take them out. Either way, it doesn't really matter much. The other thing about the Mega Boss is he does cast Death at low HP and he also can use Chain Spell. So Chain Spell Death can be quite dangerous. So what I recommend doing is, is just TPing him down to about 60% and then use a high damage weapon skill to go ahead and finish him off. 
That way he's not really getting a chance to use death on you. If you are on Thief, you want to make sure that you have a tank trust and that way you can sneak attack weapon skill. As long as you go ahead and do this, you shouldn't have too much difficulty with him. But just be aware that he can just quickly kill you with death and that can be really irritating. I hope you got some value out of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And congratulations on the clear so you can now go ahead and do Dynamis Zarkabard. And may you have success in all you do.